Island. So I am here to do my April favorites. <laughs> um, and once again, I am the last one to jump on the bandwagon for this month because I am late once more. I apologize again. Uh, I always have a reason. But I promise that that will subside. We were just on vacation and <clears throat> my plan was to have a video filmed before we left and it didn't work. It took me like a gajillion years to pack uh, for myself and four kids and um, it was just mayhem and craziness. I have quite a few favorites to talk about so let's just jump right into my favorites. My first favorite is a dry shampoo and I never used to be a huge dry shampoo user person. Um, I have pretty dry hair to begin with so I don't even wash my hair every day. I don't even wash it every second day. I usually wash my hair every third day. I actually find that like my hair looks better like nearing the second or third day um, because when I first wash my hair it's like a big poof ball. <laughs> so um, anyway but I found a way to extend my hair washing <laughs> even longer. I know that's like really gross. I found this great dry shampoo and it's from the brand got to be uh, I think it's, oh, it's called the Encore Fresh Dry Shampoo. This is what it looks like. And the reason I love this dry shampoo, I have used dry shampoos in the past. Um, the reason why I think I never really liked them was because of the kind of white-ish cast they left on my extremely dark hair. If you're looking for something and you have dry hair and you have dry hair and you have dark hair, um, the thing I like especially about this one is that it, you don't even have to work it in, I mean you work it in but you don't even have to work it in and it doesn't leave anything on your hair. Like some of them you kind of see that white um, powdery stuff um, and then when you brush it out it's fine. This one you don't even see it at all. So from the get-go it is pretty much clear. It doesn't I mean the smell, it's kind of hard to describe the smell, it kind of just smells like hair product, <laughs> if that makes sense. It doesn't have like a perfumey smell or like a distinctive scent to it, it just smells like hair product. Another one of my favorites, actually it's a pair, um, is my Bodycology Vanilla Cupcake Body Cream. Um, I've been using this for years. I love this stuff. It absolutely smells like cupcakes. Oh my gosh, it's like so good. The funny thing is that every time I have this on, one of my kids will be like, well, all of my kids will be like sniffing me, like literally like sniffing my skin. <laughs> Mom, you smell so good. Um, and now they all want to use it. So this bottle is actually, I don't know if you can see, it's actually almost empty. So I love this um, really any time of the year, but especially now it's just kind of nice to smell kind of sweet and sugary. I use this and then I use my um, Sweet Pea uh, Mist from Bath and Body Works and I know they're kind of like different scents and you would think that maybe they don't like pair well together but it's pretty much just overall sweetness. So they smell really good together. So I've been layering these and it's just like an easy spring scent. Uh, my next favorites are some polishes. Now this one I'm pretty sure I already spoke about. I don't know if I spoke about this in a haul or if I spoke about this in my last favorites. And it's the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, the L'Oreal <laughs> Paris Polish in 420 Ragin' Cajun. And it's just a fabulous color. I have been wearing this on my toes the entire month. I have it on right now, but I'm not gonna show you because that's weird. I love this color because A, it pretty much goes on in one coat. I always put two coats on just to extend the wear, but it pretty much is opaque in one coat. So it's fabulous for that. B, what I like about it is it kind of takes on a different um, color <laughs> depending on how you look at it. Sort of like a orangey slash pinky slash melon slash corally kind of color. And it just is bright and cheery and Okay, so I've been wearing this all month, but the truth is I've only actually applied it onto my toes like twice, and that is like no word of a lie, and it's lasted the entire time. I still use my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails top coat, I think it's called, um, <clears throat> over top, but I literally have only had to switch it out twice the entire month. Um, this stuff rocks. Then another um, set of polishes that I have been loving and I actually have been using these together um, are by Revlon and the first one is 092 
uh, Blue Lagoon is what it's called. Ooh, there you go. And it's just like a pale, uh, powdery blue color, but it actually has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's got like a shimmery kind of a, not really glitter, but just kind of like a sheen to it. So that's really pretty. And then what I've been doing for an accent is using uh, 441 Radiant. There it is. Um, and it's just a super shimmery, glittery blue polish. So I'll be use I'll use this, and then I'll use this on an accent nail. It has um, really fine. Let me see. Really fine blue glitter, and then it has larger chunks of glitter that are silver, blue, and green. Yeah, silver, blue, and green. So this is fabulous. These two together are just so, 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 so pretty. So I've been loving that as well. Another favorite of mine this month, and is actually something that I've never tried before. It's not new. I know a lot of people have talked about it, but it was the first time I've tried it. Um, was the Rimmel Sexy Curves uh, Mascara. And it doesn't say the color on it, but I got whatever the blackest color is. Blackest black or whatever. I love it. It, it, it Like, I really, really love it. It doesn't add extreme volume to your lashes and it also doesn't add extreme length to your lashes which I know kind of seems like well why do you like it so much but it's just like a good all-around mascara I've mentioned before that I have extremely wimpy lashes they're short they're thin they're just kind of there it adds just enough volume and it adds just enough length to make them look decent um, probably if you had average to exceptionally nice uh, lashes, then this would be uh, great. Anyway, it's got this crazy wand um, with the little bumps on it that I'm sure you've seen before. And um, I just really like the formula. It's kind of a wet formula, but it really separates my lashes. It doesn't clump and, um, and it also comes off fairly easy, but it wears well, like it doesn't smudge and stuff like that. So I've really been liking that. Another product I've been really loving this month that I'm actually wearing right now um, is a Revlon uh, lip gloss, and this is in hot pink. Um, it's from the Revlon Color Burst collection, and it looks like that. <clears throat> it's just a super, it's a hot pink, <laughs> um, just like the names would suggest. It also has a little bit of silver and pink glitter to it you don't really see the glitter on your lips it kind of just adds that extra sheen I have it on right now I don't know how well you can see it but I don't even have a lipstick on underneath and I usually don't put a lipstick on underneath it because it is so opaque and pretty much what you see in the bottle is what comes out and I will show you right there just really pretty and it's not super sticky and it lasts um, it lasts a decent amount of time. Now, I've never tried this brand until now. It's Essence. Um, I don't even think we had it in Canada. Um, shoppers just started carrying it about a month or two ago. I think I paid $2 for this blush, <clears throat> which is fabulous. And this is in number 30, Secret It Girl. This is what it looks like. It's just super pretty. Like it's, it's not, like it's kind of neutral at the same time, um, but it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And it's just like a peachy, corally color, but it's kind of subdued. And I'm, did I, yeah, I'm wearing this today too. <laughs> I couldn't remember what I put on. Yeah, I'm wearing this as well today too. And um, yeah, I really like this blush a lot. And I think they have three or four other colors that I think I might go back and check out because you can't go wrong for two bucks. A couple of more products that I have been loving this month is my Heart Candy Glamouflage Concealer. And I've had this for a very long time. Um, I have one in light and I have one in medium as well, depending on what my skin is doing and what time of the year it is. This is a super, super, super pigmented, um, thick, full coverage concealer. Uh, I think this has been compared to the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer, but it's way cheaper. I think this is like four, four or five dollars at the drugstore. This will probably last me my entire life. <laughs> Like seriously, you literally need a dot of it and like, okay, I probably already just put on too much. I will show you, uh, there we go. Okay, it is so thick and it spreads out like so well and it just covers like crazy, I don't know. Yeah, you can kind of see that there, but it covers like everything. 
since the pregnancy and <laughs> the non-existent sleep that I have been getting, that is why this has been pulled out again this month. So I have been in love with this. Probably I will be using this until, well, I was going to say till baby comes, but I'll probably be using it well into the baby being born. Yeah, this is going to be my best friend for a while. Um, so those are all of my beauty favorites. Um, I thought I would throw in a few just random favorites as well, just for fun. My favorite um, book of the month. I am finally on the third installment of The Hunger Games, Mockingjay. I've had it sitting around forever, and I've actually been like dying to read it. And my children won't let me read it. <laughs> you know, because they want play, and they want, you know me to change their diaper and feed them and stuff like that. Like, they're so demanding. Anyway, um, so I'm about halfway through though, so I have been loving it. I've loved the whole series, and no, I have not seen the movie yet, um, but I'm slowly making my way through the third book and have been loving that so far. My favorite TV show has been Parks and Rec. Now, we, me and my husband, we watch sort of that whole block of TV, like The Office and Parks and Rec and uh, Modern Family. We kind of just that humor type of, you know, TV show. We just love it. But I tend to kind of like go back and forth on like what my current favorite is at the moment and it has to be hands down Parks and Rec. I love that show. It's hilarious. Ron Swanson is like the king. If you've never watched it, you have to watch it because it's, it's hilarious. Uh, my favorite food of the month, if you have happened to check out my pregnancy vlog, which I will uh, link <laughs> down below, um, is, well, in general, it's cereal. Specifically, it's vanilla Rice Krispies. I cannot get enough of that stuff. The other day, I had like two bowls, like in a row, like one after the other. And like just talking about it, probably when I'm done filming this video, I'm going to go have a bowl of vanilla Rice Krispies. It's like my, I don't know if it's a craving because I just, I think, I can't imagine not liking it, but I extra like it now, I think it might have something to do with being pregnant. Oh, my favorite song of the month is probably uh, Maroon 5's Payphone. I really like that song a lot. I've been playing it a lot. Actually, my song choices have a lot to do with what my kids like to listen to as well. They um, are very <laughs> opinionated on what music they like to listen to in the car and in the house. Luckily, they tend to like... There, there's less kid music being played than there is like top 40 music being played. So that's pretty good. We all kind of tend to agree on the same music. So they've been liking that song as well. They, they approve of my choice for favorite song of the month. One more thing, my favorite accessory of the month has to be, for sure, my Pandora, ne my Pandora necklace, my Pandora bracelet. Anyway, it's right here. You can kind of see the charms. I have one, well, there's charms and then there's spacers. There's like a whole bunch of things. It's a very complicated system when you have Pandora. I've been loving it because I got it for Christmas from my hubby along with two charms and then he's been slowly getting me like charms um, like I got some for Valentine's Day and then there's been a lot of like just because charms. It's been slowly filling up like considering I just got it at Christmas it's um actually getting pretty full. He got me a couple when we went on vacation because we don't have an actual Pandora store anywhere near us. He kind of has to order them online. But when we went on vacation, we were like staying in fairly big like cities and stuff. And like everywhere we went, there was a Pandora store. Like we didn't even know. We would just like be like, oh, there's another one. So it was kind of like, <laughs> it was like a souvenir. Every time we went to a Pandora store, he would buy me a charm, which was very sweet. I got three charms and like spacers. and. Just today, actually, because our anniversary is coming up on Saturday, our 11 year anniversary. So excited. God, I can't believe it's been 11 years. I feel so old. But anyway, um, so I kind of got like a pre anniversary gift. Um, and he got me another charm, which is this, uh, this one here. Seriously, this is like the most awkward ever. But anyway, it's this one here that I got and it's just kind of like round and it's got, you can't really see, but it's got like little diamonds um, down the center. All I can see is that cut on my arm. I don't even know how I got that. So anyway, that's my favorite accessory. I've been wearing it all the time, pretty much with anything that I wear on my arm, I have been wearing my Pandora um, bracelet. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my 
favorites video and be sure to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i will put all the links down below to my other channels hope you're having a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye